boys. So in Madden 23, we got one of the best promos of the year in Ring of Honor. And now we're finally getting it in Madden 24. Basically, they're inducting new players into the Madden kind of like Hall of Fame, I guess you could say. And we had five last year. I'm guessing we're going to get five again. They are revealing 25 plus overall cards this, uh, coming out tomorrow. So I don't know if that's going to be all 98s, all 99s. We're going to see today. But we're going to check out abilities, see how good these cards are in the meta, which ones are worth buying tomorrow. And yeah, other than that, man, let's just jump right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Hey boys, the first card they're showing off is the login reward. As you guys know, they've been giving free cards for every single promo. All you got to do is log in, get his base overall, and then get three upgrade tokens. They made John Madden a middle linebacker, and he is six foot four, So a pretty good user right there. He is 96 speed, but good news is... He gets every single team chem. So he, you can see right there's the upgrade token. There is John Madden. He gets the Eagles one chem. And then for some reason, it's Eagles. And then his other chem is 32. So you could get two times Eagles. I think it's because he played in the Eagles. I don't know why I said that. But not a bad log in a card. And they didn't say abilities too. I have it in, in the background. They did not say abilities at all for him. All right, boys. So these guys are 91 overalls. Obviously, they just said who it was. This, the first ring of honor person is going to be JJ Watt. So these are all teammates of him. And you can see this is a 91 DJ reader. But if you have him in the lineup as the same time or at the same time as the boosted JJ Watt, I, I believe you could put a token in the JJ Watt. It'll boost your DJ reader, your 91 DJ reader up to a 96. You can see his stats right there. I'm pretty sure those are the only discount buckets or abilities that you're going to see on the card built in right there i'm not sure if the 91s will unlock discounted ability buckets once they're boosted up to 96s if that makes sense but dj reader a cool one i'm really hoping right now for uh, either andre johnson or deandre hopkins to be the 98s they are giving us two 98s as well and you can see jonathan joseph is the 95 boosted up to a 98 and he is even with the boost is only 96 speed. It's cool to see Jonathan Joseph back in the game, but not the craziest card right here. All right, boys, and there is one of the 98s. This is, so they're, I think they're gonna do two 98s, a 95 and a 91, but like you're seeing the blue numbers. That means they're boosted because they're in the lineup with JJ Watt. So no speed boost here, but you are getting a 97 speed Honey Badger. I believe this is his first card that he's actually gotten upgraded like big in the game this year. He's usually pretty decent in Madden, but being a smaller player, boys, it might be rough. It might be rough. Remember, you have to use all these guys, too. So you're going to have to find a spot for Joe to be on the field, DJ Reader, JJ Watt, and whoever this last uh, item is for them to get the boost. But you can even see on Tyron Matthew, him getting boosted from a 98 to 99. You're only getting a little bit of Excel, play, Rick. If you're only boosting for Tyron Matthew, you're definitely doing her own. And yeah, I feel like we knew it was coming, boys. Andre Johnson. I don't know why, but I'm blanking right now. I can't. I know he always gets cards every single year, but is this his first card of Madden 23 or Madden 24? I might be blanking. If if he got a card earlier in the year, I'm I, I for sure don't remember it all right now. But he is six foot three, as you guys know, 98 speed. He's only getting minimal boost. It looks like when you put him next to JJ Watt, because that is a not pl a, what a plus one in the catch of traffic. Nothing crazy right here. And here comes the reveal of JJ Watt himself. We're getting five masters that are gold 99s and here is jj watt man I, i'm really hoping he gets every team chem as well because as you guys know he ended up getting the team diamond master in the beginning of the year him and todd Gurley. i gotta see these stats though man jj watt please bless him up 95 speed 99 excel and it looks like he has an x factor built into his card all right jj watt might be tough boys Boys, he has baked on run stopper or run stuffer for zero AP, but he also does get ring of honor X factors. He does get Colossus. That's all you got to know about. He gets some other ones. Who cares? He gets Colossus. It's the best X factor in the game. The NFL combines, the way they work is they start on for 10 plays and I believe there's a little bit of a drop off and then you get it back on for 10 plays. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but JJ Watt looks absolutely amazing. He has Colossus. He has a built in run stopping X factor on the card for zero AP as well. No every team chem though. That is really his only L. He only gets Cardinals and Texans. All right, boys. So our second inductee is going to be Devin Hester. I hate ruining it, but he's also doing it this way. I feel like he should show the 99 first and then the teammates. But Devin Hester is his first teammate is a 91 overall Edron James. And if any of you guys don't know, Edge already has a 97 card. And he also, I believe, has a 93 or a 92 card for the Thanksgiving promo. So even boosted up, boys, this card is still not better than his other one. And you have to have him in your lineup if you want to fully boost all of Devin Hester's colleagues, teammates, whatever, supporting cast, whatever you want to call them. I don't really understand this pick at all. I don't at all. Also, boys, I just saw in that picture, I believe that was Quiddy Pay. 
I don't think that was Edger and James in that picture. I just saw that. And also, Masin, I I can't say. Is it Masin Muhammad? I'm, I'm going to butcher it no matter what. He is getting a card as well. I believe he is tall too. 97 speed boosted up. You definitely don't want to use him without the boost right there. With the boost, he's actually usable. That's no theme team boost. Remember, that is just from being in the lineup with Devin Hester and everybody. Actually, not a bad card. Imagine him in the Bears theme team. You can get him up to 99 speed super easily right there. Like I said, good height on him as well. A definitely a usable card. And you can see the first 98 next to him is going to be a 98 overall Tommy Harris. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think that is Tommy. Is that, I, I, I don't remember what, top, what number Tommy Harris were, but I'm pretty sure that is not Tommy Harris. Number 21 on the Bears. A am I? Maybe I'm just tweaking right now, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure he got a, a, a ring of honor last year, too, if I'm not mistaken. His offensive 98 teammate is going to be Greg Olsen. Bears Greg Olsen, which is kind of crazy to say, but honestly, 96 speed. We just got a Gronk that also has 96 speed, which a lot of people don't like Gronk because how slow he is. But Gronk also has like 90 run block. Greg Olsen's 96 speed with no run block. I don't know. This card definitely doesn't look too good. I will say the supporting cast besides Andre Johnson look a little meh so far, I guess you could say. Devin Hester, I all I need to see on him, boys, is either yak him up. I need to see also built-in return man or something. I don't know. This right now so far, all of Devin Hester's, we have two messed up card arts. We have a slow tight end. A D tackle doesn't really move anybody. And it's it's been disappointing so far for Hester's squadron. All right, boys, I don't even care what X Factor he gets on. Devin Hester is insane. That I mean, he's easily one of the best wide receivers in the game. First off, you get Energizer built in. So juking after the catch, you're going to remain with your stamina. You're going to finish big plays after spamming the juke, which is broken this year. You're 99 speed, and you also get Return Man built in. So you have two zero APs. You are the best stack for when it comes to returning. You're really good after the catch as well. Devin Esther is going to be a great card all around, man. Obviously, he gets Bears. Falcons also, I I, I feel like we, we already know the leaked cards all coming out today. They get three Masters coming out, man. Devin Hester, man, he's looking like a dog, dude. This card's going to be very, very good. And the next Ring of Honor inductee is going to be Troy Palomalu. If you guys do not know, they showed these on the main menu before they even are revealing them right now. We knew all five of the Ring of Honor cards coming in, but it looks like Heath Miller... I don't know why they're choosing cards that already have better options. Like, if you're a Steelers theme team, now you can't use Heath Miller's AKA card that is really good because of Vanguard because now you have to use this card if you want to get the boost for the rest of your team, which is tough. It is definitely tough at the end of the day, but you can see Heath Miller is the 91, boosted up to 96 with the Troy Palomalu upgrade from the lineup. I'm going to be honest, boys. I'm really hoping we see some good upgrades on this card. I feel like the strong safety right now, it's really Kyle Hamilton and like Jair Brown. It's kind of been at a stalwart for a while. It's been very, very boring over there. We need Troy P to be a GOAT. I'm going to be honest with you guys, boys. They have big bets. This is, this is terrible. This is terrible. Not because I'm a Steelers hater. I'm a Browns fan. But because Big Ben is getting a 95 overall card as a Ring of Honor teammate. And that's boosted up to 98, and you can see the abilities they built on. Roaming Dead Eyes is a good ability, but, I mean, it, uh, look at the other ones. I mean, they have Master Tactician School. I see that there are more abilities built in. Hopefully, Big Ben's usable. He doesn't normally have the best release when he's in Madden, but getting a 95, how is he not at least the 98 right next to Troy P? This is his first card in two years since he has retired as well. This is not what you want to see. Like I said, I, you're, you're talking to the biggest Steelers hater in the world. That is terrible. I mean, there's no reason Big Ben should be getting a 95 overall card in his first drop when we have gold 99s in the game. Lamar Woodley is back in the game. Gets Raiders, Kem. Raiders team team stand up. But you can see Lamar Woodley, 93 speed, 95 excel with the boost. Pretty good card all around. Honestly, I love Ring of Honor. They are showing up and bringing a lot of good names. I'm really hoping some of these guys, maybe they're leaving Big Ben for an Ultimate Legend upgrade later on or something. Maybe that's what it is. But Lamar Woodley, Big Ben back in the game. I think Andre Johnson's getting his first card. And for Troy P, they're doing two defensive 98s. I don't know how I feel about that, boys. It's kind of an L at the end of the day, but it's whatever. Joey Porter is getting an upgrade as well. He was so due. His last card was an LTD when it came to the Thanksgiving promo. That's how long it's been. They got two new linebackers, and now we get to see Troy P. He's got to be juiced.
And they made Troy Polamalu Zeus. First off, he's 99 speed, basically 99 everything. But his what he has like I think his Avalanche is one of his X factors. But he get like I said, the Ring of Honor have their own X factors. They gave him NFL Combine universal coverage. And if you guys do not know what NFL Combine is, after nine plays, it's on for the entire game. So basically, Troy P, you will have every single KO on the field and built-in pick artist. For zero AP. The problem is, is that you're going to have a lot of plays without no X Factor on, which can be very, very tough. But Troy P right now looks like the best out of the top three options we've seen so far. Boys, Eric Dickerson is the next Ring of Honor master coming in. And his first teammate, the 91 overall, is going to be a Doug Smith. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really know much about Doug Smith. I've never heard him before. But you can see a 96 Ram Seam Team Center. We'll take that. I'm really not sure how these abilities work on the lower tier cards, the 95s and 91s. I, I'm not sure if you could choose from these or if they're all built in and you have to use them on them. I don't know how much AP it is. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not locked in, but you can see the second one. Also, another guy, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he also got a Ring of Honor last year. Well, uh, Tommy Harris got one. I think Chris Hinton is getting another one from last year as well. I don't remember who he was a supporting cast member of, but you can see a left tackle Right there. He looks pretty good statistically, but ability-wise, it's all we really care about is those abilities, boys. All right, boys. His 98 teammate. I don't know why they keep doing this, but he does not get secure for zero. So, automatically, an L right here. Rob Havenstein, who also is a Rams theme teamer, is still a better card than the Hall of Famer Jackie Slater, boys. Isn't that absolutely insane? They refuse to give us zero AP secures when we already have had them in the game for months and months upon time. But you can see Nolan Cromwell... Another guy. He has not had a card this year. He had some cards last year. He was amazing last year. Nolan Cromwell back in the game. I believe he is 6'2". So he has pretty good height in the game. You can see not, not a bad card. Easily boostable to a 99 speed if you have any sort of theme team with the Rams. I don't, I'm not, I don't mind this. Boys, they made Dickerson. Okay, Bo Jackson is amazing. We all know he's amazing. They just broke the game with him. They gave him Bo Jackson's X-Factor. So he gets the X-Factor on all game after nine plays. But he gets Human Joystick built in for zero. He gets Energizer for zero as well. And Jukebox for zero. So not only can you juke all game, you could swerve all game. And you won't lose stamina. And you have the X-Factor. You also have a guy with plus six carrying on Bo. He's way taller. So he's better in the passing game. And way better catching. Yeah, he is by far probably the new best. Not, no, not only the best running back in the game, but the best card in the game. Eric Dickerson, absolute must-have. That's the first gameplay we're doing on the channel tomorrow, boys. Make sure you have those noties on for that. All right, boys. And the final Ring of Honor card is going to be Michael Vick. So our two gameplays tomorrow, Michael Vick and also Eric Dickerson, going to be elite. The first teammate is Al G. Crumpler. If you guys do not know, there's kind of a meme in the Madden community. The guy that does these streams that you can kind of see when he cuts in, he's doing the stream right now. He calls himself the young Al G. Crumpler. That guy right there. He is like the biggest, you can see he has a picture. He's the biggest Al G. Crumpler fan ever, biggest Falcon fan ever. He finally got him back in the game. That's kind of cool. You guys kind of see what I'm saying. I'm not a big fan of them bringing. So the 95 overall teammates, Roddy White. I'm not a big fan of them bringing in new names like that. Like, like Big Ben and Roddy White, for example. Two really, really good players in their time. And they're getting their first cards of the year are just little small cards in a promo. You know what I mean? Like Roddy White and Big Ben deserve better. You've held their names all year long. He could have at least been 98, but... Michael Vick might have some crazy crazy teammates real quick. And you can see even boosted up with 97 speed. Not the craziest card in Roddy White, but he's going to be usable for sure. I know this theme team is absolutely juiced. We need to see these 98s, though. He's, like, juicing it right now. I can hear him in the back of my ear. I don't know what he's doing. And that's why they did it. They put one of the best Madden players of all time. If you guys do not remember, well, I wasn't even live, but I've heard the stories. Or I was alive. I was, like, three years old when Matt, I think it was Madden 04. Madden 04, Brian Finneran. That's why they put him there, boys. Yeah, six foot five wide receiver. Falcons Kemp. Falcons theme team is insane, by the way. Absolutely insane. You have Hester, you have Michael Vick, and you also have Eric Dickerson. And now Brian Finneran as well. Hopefully they get a good defensive card right here to match that as well. They need some defensive help because that would make this theme team. I might be switching over from Raiders here soon, boys. There it is, boys. All you got to do is just ask sometimes. The Falcons theme team. Now they have Dion, D'Angelo Hall, Jesse Bates on D. The Falcons theme team, boys, we might have to build it. They are getting insane. 97 speed, but if you go theme team, he'd be 99 right there. Zone archetype. I can't hear him with the abilities right now, but I'm guessing the 98s have decent ab abilities enough to put him on the field. But I'm excited for this Michael Vick. Hopefully we get a good X-Factor, maybe Truz, and also great ability stack, man. Let's see what they got.
All right, boys, Michael Vick got absolutely blessed. You can see 99 speed, whatever, right? That's already amazing. We have Bo Jackson, who's 99. But the thing with Michael Vick, he has evasive built in. So after you're going to be able to juke, he gets Truz. He gets the Bo Jackson Truz. I know I'm not looking at the card I'm still talking about. Add the weight to the end to get the abilities. He has Truz as well for zero AP. The same thing with Bo, where it's going to be on all game. But he also gets the stack for 2 AP, boys. But if you use Gift Wrapped, it's 3 AP. I still use Gift Wrapped. I know some people don't. So it's a 3 AP stack with Gift Wrapped. 2 AP stack without it. Yeah, I mean, he has Peyton Manning staff with way better X-Factor, built-in juking, and also is much faster. This card, boys, he might be quarterback one. I don't know, man. All right, boys, and we have LTDs, and it looks like it's going to be last year's inductee. Tony G did get a 99 last year. He was probably one of the least favorites, I guess you could say, last year. But Falcons theme team, again, boys, gets another 99 overall card. 97 speed. He also gets an X Factor. Yak him up NFL Combine, where he's going to have yak him up all game. You can maybe play him at wide receiver. You guys know how it goes, man. Tony G, arguably one of the best, if not the best tight ends in the game now. I don't know if he could juke. I can't remember what his weight is in game, but this should be a good card regardless just because of that yak him up. There he is, boys. LT. LT gets a card. Obviously, they're doing an LTD from two. I'm going to guess they're going to do the same thing next year. We're probably going to get some Ring of Honor LTDs from this year's inductees. But LT, his first upgrade in a long time. Looks like he has Edge Threat Elite built in. 95 speed amazing stats across the board lt is a card that i swear even without x factors he is insane but boys i'm gonna guess i, I can't hear him right now but i'm gonna guess this is gonna be a colossus built in or an unstoppable force this dude is probably gonna be one of if not the best one of the best edge rushers right next to aaron donald all right boys ring of honor is one of the best drops we've had all year not only are you getting one of the best running backs in the game but you're getting the best card in the game you're getting amazing 98s across the board some new names in there this promo is ridiculous. It's going to be super expensive, but we'll get some gameplays out for you guys, man. Now, let me know who you guys are copping tomorrow, and I hope to see you guys in some of those videos tomorrow, boys. It's going to be crazy, boys. I'll see you all there. Peace out, man.